my jade egg from the Spirit Weavers Gathering when I was there two years ago. And I had this really gorgeous initiation. They gave it to me in this gorgeous pouch. I chose my jade egg based on my intuition. I have this beautiful handkerchief. I have this gorgeous little egg. And I brought it home and I put it in my drawer in my nightstand and I never looked at it again. And so when I discovered that you do coaching sessions with the jade egg, I was really excited to have someone kind of hold my hand and show me exactly how to use it. Um, even in the work I do with fertility awareness and talking about how women can connect with their bodies in different ways, whether that's charting their menstrual cycle or, you know, using a jade egg, like this comes up a lot, but I don't think anyone really knows what it is. Even when people ask me what the jade egg is, I find I'm like stumbling, like, ask Lisa. So (laughs) how would you describe what, what the jade egg is? Uh, well, other than what it physically is. Uh, I like to think of it as a focusing tool. So if you have a yoga practice, you likely have a yoga mat. And the mat itself doesn't have the magic. The magic is that you make a commitment to yourself and to your body and to spend time on that mat on a regular basis. The same is true for the jade egg. So it's, it's a focusing tool in a sense, but it allows you, it, it, because it's something physical, there's mine. You can set the time aside. And I love to call it a date night with yourself where you spend time with your body, with your sexuality, with you. And there are practices that you can do obviously as well. And yeah, it's, it's the magic is setting the time aside and committing to a regular practice, just like with yoga. Mm. So then that brings me to my next question is, besides the obvious, which I love, like taking time for yourself Mm -hmm. and yeah, even just that simple aspect of taking time for yourself and doing something with yourself, which I think is radical in itself. um, What are the reasons why somebody would use a jade egg? Well, the benefits that women have shared about using the jade egg is it does increase and improve your connection to your body. So you our bodies are always talking to us and nobody ever taught us that it is. And so when we take this time, and of course we're working specifically with our sexual organs, um, more specifically the vaginal canal, but when we take this time with the jade egg, we develop a better connection and start to hear how our body talks to us. And I don't know about you, but it's best done when there's no distraction or a partner in the room because <laughs> it can be so subtle. Um, Another benefit is as you start to love your body or get a deeper connection with your body, you love yourself more. You start feeling sexy. You might feel more pleasure and turn on all the time. It has nothing to do with because you're having sex. You're turned on to life because you've turned your body on and you have this connection. Um, With some of the weight practices, and strengthening the the pelvic muscles, you get better orgasms. You can get a better connection to your partner because you're more in your body and present during sex. Um, With some women, there can be a a reversal of minor prolapse, which sometimes also results in incontinence. So that can be helped. Um, as well as if women experience pain during sex, it can either be reduced or eliminated. Mm. You mentioned using weights. Can you mm. describe, I mean, I've had you know, the pleasure of working with you, so I actually know what this <laughs> means. But for anyone who's listening, do you know, how do you explain what you mean when you're talking about using weights with the jade egg? Yeah. So generally in the beginning, the weights are that you're lying on your back with your knees up. So feet flat on the floor, knees up to the ceiling. And I don't know if you can see. Mm-hmm. Little hole. There's a little hole in the egg. So you actually attach a string to that. And so when you aren't sure what your vaginal strength is like, you will do some resistance pulling. So you're lying on your back and you pull and you use your vaginal muscles um, to hold the egg in place. Once you get better and you know you're stronger, then you can stand up and attach to that string, attach a weight hanging down from it. And there are some other yummy practices that you can do as well. 
And, and just to be clear, I find that a lot of times women, because I know I had this, I always thought I had a really weak um, pelvic floor. Sometimes what, not sometimes, often what causes the weakness is actually tension because we think we should have this tight vagina, tight pussy. I hope everybody's okay with that word, but it's tight and it's a muscle. Muscles don't really get loose. I mean, we birth babies and it's not like, whoa, at the end and, and your partner never enjoys sex with you again. No, it has an amazing recuperative power. So um, the, the importance of doing the weight training or the resistance training is probably more so training you to relax the pelvis mm -hmm. because think about it when you get scared I don't know about you but the sphincters in my pelvis <laughs> tend to tighten up and so if you're working in a in a scared or your scared sex will hurt or whatever it is um, often it's it's the pelvic area that's tight which actually causes weakness over time so it's not every single time going. I talk to you, I discover <laughs> a new way to use the jade egg. That's that's incredible. So speaking of which, then why wouldn't you use one? Is there any reasons why you would tell someone they shouldn't use the jade egg? Yeah. So women who are pregnant, you want to keep the baby happy and healthy. We don't use the jade egg. The jade egg. Um, Yeah, I don't think I have any more on that. <laughs> the jade egg is a no-go for pregnancy. Um, the jade egg is also a no-go when you're menstruating because your body is having a natural process. It wants to flush everything out. So putting something in your vagina is counterproductive and counterintuitive. So let your body do what it's doing and have its, its menstrual cycle. Um, if you have any active infections, Definitely not a time to use the jade egg because using the jade egg actually increases lubrication and increases heat, which often infections love. So you don't really want to feed them. Uh -huh. um, and then if you have an IUD, I would recommend checking with your doctor. Um, you don't necessarily want to use um, the weight training. So when you're standing and hanging a weight from the jade egg, because that can that can sometimes disrupt the IUD. Okay, that's really helpful. Yeah. Um, especially for me, when I'm always telling people that they should try the jade egg, but yeah. there's times when you shouldn't as well. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it's not to be used anally. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> so when I first discovered it, I don't remember where I heard it, um, but someone told me that you could even just start by like, sleeping with it under your pillow or yeah. holding it against like your womb. But so let's backtrack a little bit. How do you even begin? How do you, where do you put it? How do you use it? So I'm sure you've gathered by now from our conversation that the jade egg is inserted into the vagina. So if you can see, there we go. It does have an egg shape to it, right? The pointy end and the round end. So it's the round end that gets inserted first, right? So then your string is hanging out the way a string from a tampon would hang out. Mm -hmm. um, so my favorite part of the jade egg practice is, remember I talked about our bodies always talking to us? We as women often allow ourselves to be penetrated, whether it's by a partner or ourselves, when our body is a no so the jade egg, when you're doing a practice, there's the point where you hold the egg at the entrance to the vagina and you listen to your body to hear, is she a yes? Is she a no? Is she a maybe? Mm -hmm. So you don't even have to insert the jade egg. These practices work great without the jade egg. They're a little bit more, um, it works better with the jade egg, but you, you'll still get results without the jade egg. But simply taking the time to ask that question of your vagina before you go into the practice, then you get a sense of what it feels like. Like maybe she feels tighter when she's a no, like she's physically like trying to create a barrier. Um, and then if, if you get a maybe, then the playing is like, well, what would it take to get to a yes? 
right? Just like you're when you're with a partner and you don't want to have sex, but you're probably more a maybe. I mean, you have communication, right? You start a communication like, could you be a yes? What do you need to be a yes? Is today a total no-go? Or maybe we just cuddle instead, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, the to me, the the most beautiful part of the practice is getting clear on what your body's yes, no, and maybe sound like. Having that dialogue. Or feel like. Yourself. Yeah. yeah. And then making that connection with the body sensation that's happening. Yeah. yeah that's, that's really powerful. Yeah. And just to be clear, I mean, I'm, I'm a work in progress. When I was married, there were, oh, I, I mean, I would imagine that maybe 5% of the time she was a hell yes. And usually she was a no. Um, so for me, even though I have been working with the Jade Egg for uh, we're probably going on three or four years, she still says no to me. And I feel sometimes when she says a no that she wants to make sure that I honor her no and that I listen to her because she's like, I remember the past, <laughs> right? Those, those early or too soon penetrations are like micro traumas to our body. And um, so it's, it's how do you soothe your body and reassure your body that you are going to protect it and listen to it. Yeah. yeah and establishing that relationship. My heart just flutters like hearing that and how you can just give that gift back to yourself to honoring that no, to celebrating that yes, to just listening again. That's so beautiful. Yeah. Okay. But it's in. So how do you take it out? Yeah. So I always instruct women to attach the... I use or I give you floss when you buy a package from me and it's untreated floss in that it doesn't have cinnamon on it. It doesn't have peppermint on it. It doesn't have tea tree oil on it because I can guarantee that pussy doesn't like (laughs) those flavors at all. So um, you've got the string attached to the egg and the string is attached so that you can feel comfortable and confident that you can remove the egg by pulling on that string. Now the string is not required and there's no way to lose the egg up in your vaginal canal or the pelvic area. It's, it's, a, it's an enclosed system unless for some weird reason your cervix is open, but even then the womb, it can't get anywhere out of the womb. The tubes are <laughs> past the womb are way too small to let an egg go through. But um, in the first little while as you're getting comfortable and confident with the egg, the, the string is what you use to remove it. Okay. I felt like that was an important one to jump on because I feel mm-hmm. like even when I talk about menstrual cups, um, ah. we have different, you know, different people. They're like, I don't want to put it in because I'm afraid I won't know how to take it out. But mm. now for like the real stuff here, like that I think is really important because especially for me, when I had my jib egg, I didn't use it right away because I just didn't know how, which is why it was so super awesome when I found you and we did, was it five sessions together once a week? You know, I had you in my earbuds connected to my phone and I, it was just so useful. So there was a lot of really cool things that you guided me to do with the Jade egg and each Mm -hmm. session had its own theme, which I thought was really fun. But so how would you, you know, describe to someone what you do with it once it's in. Mm. Well, there are, again, I have a package that I sell that includes some basic practices. So some of it would be like, once the egg is in, simply notice, can, can you feel it? And, and again, to be clear, we don't have a lot of um, kind of touch sensors in the vaginal canal. They're more pressure sensors. Mm-hmm. And the reason for that is because if our vaginal canal was as sensitive as our fingertips, we would never have children (laughs) or we would have one and I'm out. (laughs) So it's not that when, and and I haven't said this before, but you will, the sensitivity will increase, but it's not like a fingertip sensitivity, if that makes sense. So it's not like all of a sudden you'll be like, oh yeah, I totally know where the egg is and that it's, you know, pressing up against my cervix or whatever. It's more, 
it's more kind of a felt sense. Mm. And um, I lost my train of thought. But it oh, can practices. Be, that <laughs> be just as simple as inserting it. How do I feel? What comes to yeah. my mind? What sensations yeah. do I feel in my body? You know, I know I'm jumping here, but I what thought was so cool, even just working with you, is it wasn't even just about my vagina and the egg. Like you even give me breast massage practices. And, mm-hmm. you know, like one session I had the egg in and I danced all over my room to my favorite song. Like there was just so many different ways that you could play with the egg. And whatever intention again that you have, whether it was, you know, just reconnecting back to that self, whether it was going back to honoring that yes versus no versus maybe in yourself or in whatever, increasing the sensitivity. And it's funny because even just with me personally, like I, there was no, I had no real reason. I wasn't trying to like, um, fix anything or change anything. I was just curious. Yeah. And so it was really funny when I realized that um, I actually started seeing my partner at the same time we started using the egg together. And I was just so wet and aroused all the time. <laughs> and then I was like, I stopped, we stopped our sessions together and I stopped using the jade egg. Um, and so then some months have passed and all of a sudden I realized, wait a second, I'm just not as, I don't just, I don't lubricate as much as I used to even, you know, just just looking at my partner. (laughs) Oh my goodness. I'm not attracted to him anymore. And I went and I looked at my menstrual cycle charts and I had written when we started using the jade egg and it was around Mm. the exact same time that I started seeing my partner. And I thought, Oh my goodness. Wow. That was, I think it was the jade egg. That was incredible. Just how it changed my body and how I'd reacted. And I just love how you said that in the beginning, but how it turns you on like to life. And I really, yeah. And in retrospect, I really felt that with the practices. And so I'm really excited. I lost it. And I have to to like get back into it and be like, Oh wow, that really did like change something in me. And so that's well, and you, you sharing what you did, Chloe is incredibly important because the way women learn about their turn on and their sexuality is in relationship with someone else, right? We don't get this big raging erection that we start to link what's sexually relevant. So you having that awareness that because you were giving loosely, you were giving that power to your boyfriend Mm -hmm. when actually it was you and your body. So yeah, to some degree, it, it does have to do with what's happening in the environment. But the bottom line is, is that the pleasure, the turn on, it's yours. It's generated from inside of you. Nobody else can give it to you or take it away from you. You get to share that with somebody else. And so working with the Jade Egg helps you really claim that for yourself and explore that for yourself. And then it, you know, when you're ready to to share it with a partner, changes the experience. I love that. And I love that it's a practice for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just feel like that's such a beautiful way to end. And So if anybody, I I have so many more questions for you, (laughs) part two for the Jade Egg, but where, if someone wants to know more, where can they go? How can they find you? Mm -hmm. Right now I have a Facebook page called Lisa Letwin Women's Sexuality Coach. And uh, I'm actually playing with changing it to maybe pleasure and sex coach, but or pleasure and love coach. I don't know. I might play. (laughs) 